filmmaker from the Pacific Northwest shot a new short film in the Pacific Northwest, and tomorrow it is having its world premiere. It's called, in France, Michel is a man's name. It's premiering at Outfest, which is an LGBTQ film festival that normally takes place all in LA, but of course this year, just like most everything else, it's going virtual. Outfest is an incredible home for queer filmmakers, and I'm super excited that it's going to be digital because it means that a lot of people get to see it, especially for this movie and especially in the, the time we're living in before this election. Um, I'm really excited that folks get to all be in digital community together. Bless us, O oh Lord, and these thy gifts which we're about to receive. Amen. Amen. The movie follows Michael, a trans man who, well, actually, I'll just let M and Ari tell you what it's about. The movie is about a young trans man who returns home to rural Oregon after being uh, estranged from his parents and the messy and complicated reunion he has with his father. The film is about a family that loves one another and they are struggling to find in the ways that they can show up for one another, but nevertheless, they try. The whole film was shot in the Pacific Northwest, mostly in Oregon, with one scene in Washington. M, the director and writer, is from the Dalles and New York City. They moved between the two throughout their childhood. And that was part of what, what I really wanted to do was make a movie in Oregon, and he had the best crew of people from Portland and, uh, and all over. and. Our whole cast, other than Ari, were locals, uh, which was awesome. So yes, you might recognize some Oregon scenery in the film, including Mary's Place in downtown Portland. It's the most iconic strip club in the world, in my opinion. It's just so cool. It's also been female run for decades, and the women who run it are amazing. Ari plays Michael in the film. He and M have known each other since 2009, when Ari helped M move into the dorms at Smith College. Yet somehow this is Ari's first time acting in a film. Really, I only act whenever M is involved in the project. I've had some stage experience working with M, and I am so lucky that they were kind enough to give me this chance to be on film. Both Ari and M hope the film will give viewers the chance to have more conversations about gender. Especially masculinity and how it's this thing that we inherit from our parents that we don't even realize we're participating in and that can really be quite toxic and destructive and also just incredibly complicated. And I'm hoping that it inspires empathy both uh, throughout generations for both of these men's experience and for the mom's experience too and that we, we start to really understand that, that there's there can be a huge gap between what acceptance looks like and what listening is and what actually true understanding and, and, and listening look like. If you want to see In France, Michel is a man's name for yourself, it's premiering tomorrow at Outfest, which because it's all virtual this year, you can watch it from anywhere starting at midnight tonight for 72 hours. The film will be up. Just go get your ticket at outfest.org.